The following new energy profile is sponsored by Remington. I don't consider myself a celebrity of any sort. I'm just a person doing everything that everybody else does, and I may have success in some arenas, but you know, I'm just like everybody else. And so to have someone want your autograph or sign a book and that sort of thing, it's, it's a bizarre concept to me. A lot of people don't start competing with firearms until they're an adult. So I had a head start on everybody and, and that really, really helped things out. I'm a daddy's girl and I started shooting with him when I was 14 years old. We respected each other. It wasn't like, you're gonna do this. It was more, hey, let's discover this together. I went to my first national championships in uh, 1994 as a junior in high school and was recruited to shoot for the Army shooting team. I think that the Army is what allowed me to build the foundation of skills that I relied on. I was the only female on the action shooting team. Um, there were some in the Olympic divisions, whether it was rifle, pistol, and shotgun. And then the Army Marksmanship Unit, the AMU, nominated me for this Army Athlete of the Year thing. And I never in my wildest dream imagined that I would be selected out of all the female athletes for the Army to to have that honor and to this day no other action shooter has been nominated or or won an athlete of the year honor so it's it's a pretty cool thing <laughs> yes the mtv thing was in 1997 there was a vj crew that came to fort benning and they wanted to film soldiers in action and they decided to show shotgun shooting but i ended up being the person who was talking to this VJ, Simon Rex, at the time. I was so nervous. It was like the first time I was really on camera. And uh, yeah, so it was uh, me and my BDUs and, and trying not to puke. Private, why don't you tell me your name, uh, where you're from, how you got started into shooting, and then what we're about to see. Sure, I'm Private First Class Julie Goloski. I shoot for the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit and came into the Army as an MP. I definitely save the pictures and, you know, someday I'll show my kids, yeah, your mom was on MTV. <laughs> when I got out of the Army, I needed a break. I was competing for eight years nonstop, shooting hundreds of thousands of rounds, and uh, I was a little bit burned out. So I took a step back for a couple months, but then I decided to start shooting some local matches, the grassroots level of the sport, and I fell in love with it all over again. I think the, the biggest title was the first national championship I won in 1999. That was my aha moment. I, you know, I, I'm like, I did this, I finally did it, and I proved to myself that I could. And then after that, it, it was just, uh, you know, all right, what's next? Hey everybody, Julie G, a little update from the road. I am in Columbia, Missouri, getting ready to shoot the NRAB Yankee Cup. Oh, this is a an awesome match. It's one of the most enduring action pistol matches in the world. It seems like every time I head out the door, a national or world title's at stake, so that's uh, <laughs> that can be a little nerve-wracking. On my way to Quincy, uh, Barry, Illinois, to shoot the Single Stack National Championships. I, I did well. <laughs> this is Saturday. Um, this is the premiere day of the competition when a lot of the big names come out and battle it out for the win. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to be good enough to win a title. But if not, uh, I'm really, really proud of how I shot. So I'm really happy with that. I am not on the road this week, but I wanted to wish all of my teammates from Smith & Wesson, Benelli, and Warren Technical Sites the best of luck at the USPSA Nationals that's coming up next week. I am unfortunately not going to be there, and it's not because of the snow. I have even better reasons not to make it this year, and I'm going to show you what they are. That's right, I am having a baby. I used to think competing and winning was so hard. And then I had kids, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> it was so easy. I just took my daughter shooting for the first time this year. She has been wanting a, a gun for a very long time, and we ended up getting her a, a, her first little single shot 22, and it was pink. It had to be pink, but not just any pink. It had to be dark pink. We got her set up and uh, explained to her trigger control and, and all of these things, and she struggled hitting the target because the length of pull on this little tiny rifle is still too long for my little daughter. And so then we brought out uh, an MMP 22 and we were able to take the stock and put it down to the lowest setting to allow her to shoot so she could see the scope, she could see everything. She pulled the trigger and she hit the target five times because she's five. And it was the, you know, the smile and just the moment she was hooked. And it was such a, 
uh, emotional moment for me because this was this is the thing that I built my life around, and here she was enjoying it and loving it too. It was a, one of those moments that I'll take with me forever. We want our children involved in everything. We want them to have a voice and a decision and everything else. But there are times in their life that they don't get to have a say and that they have to follow rules. And I think that's what shooting does for us. These are the rules. These are the safety rules you have to follow. These are the range rules you have to follow. And if you don't follow them, guess what? You don't get to come out here anymore. And knowing there's a consequence for bad behavior or not following those rules, I think is very important for kids her age and beyond. And it, I know it was for me. And so I think it's, it's really going to be helpful for her to take that, you know, like, oh, I can't do this because it's just like when I was at the range. I have to follow these rules. And there's a responsibility you have to have. And if you're not mature enough, then you can go play with the Legos. <laughs> when I first started shooting as a junior competitor, I was the only young girl at the range, and there weren't that many women out there. But now there are so many women and girls out there competing. And it's really a friendly, situation. I mean, we're all competing, but it's not cutthroat. It's not really like that, you know, because at the end of the day, we're all shooters and we're all united by one thing and we love it. It's contagious, the excitement. I clearly have a passion for shooting and a number of different things. You know, never fit a mold and, and enjoy everything that you can to the fullest and you'll find success.